Hi chickadees, it's Miss Heather again. Today we're gonna do a science experiment. We are gonna try to make dancing mice. I know, sounds super cool, doesn't it? <laughs> you guys know how much I love science experiments along with pretty much everything, right? You guys know I love dinosaurs, I love science, I love art, I love everything because I love learning and I know you guys love learning too. So if you wanna do this with me and if it's okay with mommy and daddy to help you because you are gonna might need some help. You can go ahead and pause the video and pick up the following materials, okay? You're gonna need some baking soda, okay? I already have some in here. You're gonna need a tablespoon of that. So you're gonna wanna get a tablespoon, okay? Then a quarter cup of rice. Instant rice is easier because it's less dense, okay? Means it's a little lighter than typical regular rice so that it's actually more likely to work for this experiment okay <clears throat> you're gonna want to need excuse me um food coloring i'm just gonna grab blue because that's what they had in the activity that i saw i have some vinegar you're only gonna need a tablespoon or two depending on um depending on if your rice is dancing or not so we're gonna figure it out together because i've never done this before okay and then last but not least you're gonna need some water and then a clear container okay so i just have this little like fishbowl type clear container that i've had for i don't know forever and i actually i think i just got this at the dollar store so let me put this on here so that you guys can see this better okay so we're gonna start by filling it most of the way with water okay now when i first started this i put way too much food coloring I realized that a little goes a long way, right? We talk about that all the time. So I'm only gonna put like a, a drop or two in just so that we can see. All right, and then go ahead and mix it so that you can still see it. So you can still see through it, okay? Now you're gonna take a tablespoon of baking soda and you're going to mix it really well okay so because we need a tablespoon of vinegar i'm not going to use this to stir i'm actually going to clean this off so that we'll use the extra water in here to clean this off a little bit okay all right clean this off all right now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take a craft stick and I'm just gonna stir the baking soda in so that it's mixed very, very well. Might take a minute, let me lift this up just to see on the bottom if it's all mixed up. All right, now we're gonna take our rice and we're gonna pour it in, okay? I'm going to mix it in a little bit, see what happens. So, so far, nothing's really happening, right? They're just kind of dancing a little bit. That's because we're moving it, right? Now, let's see. I'm going to take a tablespoon at a time of vinegar and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's try again. That one didn't work. Maybe we just need a little bit more, right? There you go dancing a little bit like they said sometimes you just need a little bit more so I'm actually gonna try just a little bit more vinegar just to see okay because you never know all right do you see it now so it's dancing a little bit how cool is that you can keep adding some more in it to see what happens and to see how it's dancing. Now we talked about this. We talked about when you mix baking soda and vinegar together, right? Because baking soda is a base and vinegar is a, yes, it's an acid. So they, they make kind of like a chemical reaction and they give off um, a gas, right? I know that Miss V made an activity where she mixed baking soda and vinegar in a bottle 
Then added two seeds, still dancing. Look at how cool that is. They're still dancing. Huh, love it. But anyway, she put a balloon over the top of a bottle so that you guys could see how it filled up with gas, right? So you guys go ahead, try this at home if you'd like, or if you just want to keep watching this video over and over again, you can. All right, guys.